All right, what's up YouTube? So today I actually was not planning to record a video or even go to the gym at all. But for you guys, I was go I'm going to record a video and go to the gym. But realistically, what I'm going to do is not take a rest day today, but take a rest day on Wednesday. I'm going to take a rest day on Wednesday because on Thursday, I have a one rep max on deadlift, which is going to be 425 pounds and that is determining when I'm starting my cut if I do not hit that I might start my cut earlier and not finish the program or I will finish the program and just not hit the PRs I want so we're going to have to evaluate that my whole program my whole rest of like the next two months is going to be evaluate evaluated on Thursday so I want to have the best possible circumstances in my lifting that I can so I can pull the weight and not be sore, have low CNS levels and stuff like that. But right now, what I'm going to do actually is I have this coconut water, these two bananas, and this little box of strawberries. I'm gonna make a little fruit smoothie with probably a scoop of protein powder and maybe some secret stuff in there as well. But after that, I'm going to change because if you can't tell, I'm ready. I just got home from school. I had a little short day, so it's currently 12.30 and I'm home very early so I can make this video at my house. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drink this fruit smoothie, change really quick, and I'm gonna give you guys a little tip on all the supplements and stuff I take because you guys have been asking that, what I take, why I take it. I'll explain that to you guys while my food digests, and then I'm going to go to the gym and hit a mean ass leg day. All right, guys, so we just destroyed this entire shake right here. So I'm going to go in my cabinet right here, grab all my vitamins, set them up, and then start the explanation on why I take them and also what I take. All right, guys, so here is all of the vitamins I take. Uh, really quick, I'm going to separate them into most important on this side, kind of important on this side, and not that important on this side, which probably I might have zero to maybe one. All right, guys, so I just separated them into most important, medium important, and least important right here. And I think I'm gonna start in between into the medium important, I'm gonna start with this. This is called potassium and with extended release magnesium. Now, I didn't get it for the extended, mag extended release magnesium, but the potassium, what I use it for, I use one of them a day, and it's been linked to increase muscle protein synthesis. So what that is saying is it just speeds up the process of muscle protein synthesis, helps you to recover, and helps you do many other things. It's just overall a great thing, but not as important as the things over here. All right, guys, so next up we have the active C. So vitamin C, I take, I think I take, yeah, I take one of these pills a day. I always take everything at night. It's just so much easier for me. But what this does, it essentially just helps you recover, helps you, it's, it's almost the same thing as potassium, where it helps you recover, just helps you regenerate more, um, more muscle growth, uh, protein synthesis. It's got calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin C in here, and it's got a shit ton of vitamin C in here, which is the main reason I use it. All right, so next up is vitamin D3, which is kind of a controversial topic because it says that it is linked to testosterone boost, which is very controversial because most things cannot lead to natural testosterone boost in, besides taking actual testosterone. So in my opinion, when I first started taking it, I noticed a huge mood boost, huge energy boost and stuff like that. Also, this has been linked to more muscle recovery and muscle regener regeneration properties, but overall it's in the medium tier because it is not as good as the other things over here. All right, next up is magnesium, which is as controversial as D3 because magnesium has been in led to increased testosterone. So, you can hear my clock going off over there, but basically it helps your, it's more of a bone health, muscle, and relaxation. So when you're doing those heavy hypertrophy sets, this is gonna help you out because this um, repairs the lactic acid in your body preventing it from overall extinguishing your muscles and giving you more strength and hypertrophy in your workout. So you could go longer, you could go harder. Overall, really, probably the closest in this tier to the uh, top tier supplements. Next thing we got is this liquid IV. Now liquid IV is not the best hydration supplement, but it is the cheapest and the most affordable. 
So liquid IV, I drink this every day before my workout. So this might be in the top tier for me, but personally for you guys, I don't think it's a top tier supplement. So what it does is it basically triples your water intake. So let's say you put this in a glass of water. It's gonna count as three glasses of water, hydrate you that much. That's basically all there is to it. It's just hydration and 90% of people in America are always dehydrated. Next up is the greens. The greens are very important because people hate eating vegetables and I am one of those people. These give you every, almost every single green there is. If you look on the back over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got literally a hundred greens in here. It's got rice, it's things I haven't even heard of. Uh, there's beet juice, there's raspberry fruit powder, there's calcium, there's wild blueberry fruit extract. Just things you can't even imagine that you're not taking in. Because everything on here, if you were to take in, would literally be impossible. Be Because the amount of money you'd have to spend and the amount of food you would have to eat would just be astronomical. So this is a very good thing to have in your protein shakes. Lastly, my favorite, the most thing I wanted to put into the top tier is pre-workout. Now, I just grabbed this out of the shelf. This isn't mine. This is actually my mom's. But pre-workout is almost essential for most bodybuilders or lifters because it gives you the energy to go through a hard workout. If you do not have this, you are not going to have your top tier workout. Now, I'm not saying that uh, this is going to prevent you from getting all the gains that you can, but this will give you a mood and boost, mood boost, a pump boost, everything of that sort. So this should be one of my favorite supplements. But I do not recommend this to anyone. I don't recommend pre workout to anyone. It will mess you up. It will cause you to have heart defects and stuff like that. But overall, it, it, if, you, if you're smart with it, you're not going to have too much of problems. But you can have uh, dehydration, headaches. Um, you could get a lot of stuff from this. So be careful when you take pre workout. And right, now we're moving over to the. Um, the worst tier, the things that you probably sh shouldn't even need, but you know, I'm a freak like that, so I'm obviously going to do every single ounce of work that it takes to get the best results in my physique. So, first up is biotin. This helps your hair, your nails, and just basically grows your hair and nails. Uh, it helps your skin, and that's literally all it does. It says energy production, but it's basically a lie, it's just to make you buy the bottle. Um, I take one of these a day and that's all you need. Um, truly, I'm almost done with the bottle and I'm not sure if I'm gonna rebuy this because I almost noticed no effect. Next up is fiber. So the fiber actually has one main benefit and that is just digestion. Now, as you guys know, I have very poor digestion. So I take this all the time in my shakes. Now, have I noticed a severe effect on it? Not really. Have I noticed slight effect? Yes. So do I re recommend to people that have bad digestion? Yes. Do I recommend to people who have fine digestion? No. This is a lot of money. And if you don't have that big of a problem like I do, do not buy this. Now, we are starting over at the top tier supplements. The supplements that I fully recommend 100% that you get. The first one is omega-3 with fish oil. This is the best. This I, I think it's the worst out of the group, but it is overall one of the best supplements you could get. This helps your cardiovascular health, your brain health, your eye health. This overall is just a huge help in focus and uh, in and out of the gym. Next up is the most important supplement that you can get, and that is your daily vitamin. This has, if you could see on the back, this has every single ingredient that you need. All your B vitamins, all your K vitamins, all your E's, your D's, your C's, your A's, potassium, magnesium. It has all of this in one little pill, but you are supposed to take two because you can't really fit all of this stuff into one pill. So this is the only supplement that I 100% guarantee that you should buy. Next up is everyone's favorite, a protein powder. Now, it's not as useful as most people would think. I almost put it into the mid-tier because of the fact that it's literally just powdered food. Um, if you're eating enough food, you're getting your carbs in, your fibers in, your sugars in, your protein in, protein and carbs mainly, 
you don't need this. This is literally just for people who are not getting their protein in. If you're not getting your protein in, there might be a problem with your calorie intake. If there's a problem with the calorie intake, you should be buying something rather than, you should be eating more food rather than drinking more food. So that is the protein powder. Big controversy right there because some people say the ingredients are really bad for you. Um, if you buy the right one, you're perfectly fine. All right, last but not least, we got the creatine monohydrate. Now, this is the most controversial topic you're going to have with your mother. She's going to tell you it's steroids. You're going to say it's not. It's the most researched supplement in the industry. It's been researched for more than 20 years on teens and adults. Um, basically, if you just drink enough water, take the five milligrams for the rest of your life, you're going to be perfectly fine. You're going to be massive. Now, people say you're supposed to go on a loading phase. I disagree. You take five milligrams, you're fine. People say that you're supposed to go on a deloading phase. I disagree once again. Just keep taking it and you'll be perfectly fine. Now, if you go on a deloading phase, you are going to lose weight. So if you take this for, let's say, 60 days, because this is 60 servings, you take it for the 60 days, you get, you're going to gain some water weight and some muscle weight. Now, if you go on the deloading phase, and you just stop taking it in general, you are gonna lose like two, three pounds. And you'll be like, holy shit, I'm losing a ton of muscle. No, that's just all the water leaving your muscle. You're gonna look smaller, but in reality, it's just all the water depleting from your muscle. Now, that is all the supplements I take. Uh, that took way too long. So I'm gonna go to the gym right now, and I'm gonna have a good ass leg day because we have a three rep PR on squat. All right, guys, so that might have been the best squat session I've had in my entire career. So I think I did, so what I did was a 
three rep max with 335 and then I put 275 on and did a four by eight but it was technically a four by seven because I think I lost count in like two or three of them and uh but I went to extreme almost failure um I was I was going as hard as possible I went as low as possible in all the squats on my third rep on my PR I did not believe whatsoever I was going to get that third rep but I uh I adjusted my feet a little and I got that rep and I was very excited for that um I was bursting red I thought I'd pop every blood every blood vessel in my entire body and I think I did in my chest because my chest was like really red for some reason. And um, I'm going to go home and I'm going to try and ice that and stuff like that. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat because I have not eaten besides that protein shake because I forgot a lunch at school today. So that was very dumb of me. Um, very dumb to go early to the gym. But I do have a big math test I have to study for tomorrow. So this is going to be the end of the video because I have to edit. I, I think I have two videos that are ready to go up right now. Well, not ready to go up, but ready to be edited. So I have to edit all those two videos, study for my big math test, and do some homework. So I have a lot on my agenda, but I did manage to get this video out for you guys because as I said, I was not supposed to work out today or film. So I filmed and worked out today, which is very, very successful day. And it's not even three o'clock. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Um, best squat session of my life. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.